Hello, hey, how you doing? Today I am doing a prom look. I hope you guys like this. I actually do this look a lot in videos, but I have like more on today. Um, I've heightened it to be a prom look because it's really suitable for kind of any dress you want to wear, any kind of look you're going for. Um, but yeah, this, this is what it looks like. It's just a nice, bold, top liner look with um, a different take on a smoky eye. And I have a couple of tips just to make it look better and just last longer. And so I hope you guys really like this look. If you want to see how to do it, keep watching this video. If not, you can click off if you want. But yeah, I'll be showing you in like five seconds. But we're going back in time for me, but forward for you. Bye! Okay, so the first thing you definitely want to make sure you do is have some sort of base or primer because you're going to be dancing all night and it's just going to be a really long night and you're going to need something to for your eyeshadow to stick to. So I'm using Painterly Paint Pot from MAC and it just, um, it's pretty much exactly the same as my own skin tone. So if you have the same kind of color skin as I do, then uh, this would be good. You basically want to create a blank canvas, a blank matte canvas first. You're going to also apply it all the way underneath your eye, just everywhere around your eye. So the next thing you want to do is have a champagne color on your eyelids. From the Bronze Blue Eyes palette um, from Physicians Formula, I'm using this color right at the top. I'm going to use that and a flat shader brush and pack it onto my eyelid. I'm also going to put this exact same color in the crease and right around my lash line. Ow! I just like poked myself in the eye. Next from the NYC Individualized Palette, and I know this side is dirty, I never use it for the record, but I'm going to use this gray shade. It's kind of like a grayish brown. Um, gray or brown would both look really good. Either one is gonna work and it's gonna complement your eye, because gray is just a really like complementary shadow. So what I'm going to do here, sorry, I guess I should explain this. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to apply stuff just in the crease and then bring it over. I'm going to apply it right on top of my eye. Right on top in this crease and bring it out. There's really no rhyme or reason to this. You literally just fill your entire thing with color, your entire crease. And it's not darker out here. It's the exact same throughout. And it's going to be really harsh at first but you're gonna blend it, so don't you worry. After I've applied the gray, I'm gonna take the same palette and use the brown right on top of it. You want to use colors that are more matte for this because this is more of a matte look. It's not shimmery, it's more classic, and I'm going to apply it right on top of the gray, pretty much, yeah. And it's gonna be super duper bold. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so you have that mess. And then you're going to take a blending brush. This is from Sigma. All of my brushes are from Sigma. And you're going to blend this out. But don't worry if it gets higher up on your brow because it's kind of the look we're going for. Um, not in like a bad way, not in like a Mimi from Drew Carey show kind of way, but just like it's a faded, smoky, awesome thing. See how it slowly goes up to the brow? It's smoky, but in a different kind of way. And then when you get out here, you're going to blend it and you're going to kind of bring it out towards your temple. And this opens up your eye and creates a really nice, pretty, smoky effect that not many people do, at least not on purpose. And you're going to find it's going to start looking like it's angled towards your brow. And I'm doing this instead of actually applying it out here because if it gets out here and then you try and blend it, it can start to look like too much over here. You just kind of want it to gradually fade out. So see what I did here? It's a gradual gradient that goes up rather than out. And then over here, I just blended it out like this. Next thing I'm going to do, and you guys might think this is weird because it's kind of an odd highlight color. I'm going to use my handy dandy trusty <laughs> um, well-worn Coastal Sense 88 palette and I'm going to use this third one from the top and it's kind of a yellowish tinge. Um, it's not white. We don't really want white for this. You can go for white but yellow for some reason acts as a really good highlight color when it comes to matte makeup. Um, not too yellow but just like a hint of it. And I'm going to apply it underneath my brow, my brow bone, 
I'm also going to apply it on my inner corner over top of the champagne. And see, you can't tell it's yellow, but it complements your eye and it gives a really, really nice highlight. Righto, so now it's time for the eyeliner and I'm going to be using a gel eyeliner from Maybelline. It's really nice, I've had this for a really long time and it lasts a long time. And sorry, this is in the color charcoal. So it's like a dark, a dark charcoal really. <laughs> like a dark, dark gray, pretty much black. Um, and I'm going to line my top lash line and I'm going to wing it out. And in case you don't quite know how to wing something out properly, you're going to, well this is like a really, really easy way to do it, you're going to follow the line of your bottom lash line up. So see how, oh, I'm almost not in the camera, I'm sorry. So you see how it goes up like this, like your lash line? You're going to just follow that and kind of draw a line where it would go. See that's kind of like following it? And then you're just kind of going to attach it and bring it over. See, it's now a winged out look and it was like super easy to do. And next we're just going to curl our eyelashes because you do not want to miss this step unless you have naturally curly eyelashes in which case I hate you. And I'm just applying mascara to only the top lashes. You don't want anything on your bottom lashes. That is not the look we're going for. You don't want to even it out. You want all the drama to be at the top. To open up my eyes a little bit more, I'm going to use my mascara wand, hold it vertically, and kind of run it up the top of my lashes. And this brings them up a little bit more. Invites them basically to point upwards rather than outwards. And you might want to use waterproof mascara like I am for this because first of all it holds the curl better and second of all if you end up sweating or crying or rubbing your eyes for any sort of reason during prom um, you want to be safe yeah and now you're done the eyes so now we're gonna get into the face let me just zoom out here so first of all the reason I recommend doing your foundation last is because since you're gonna have so much stuff on your skin I, I recommend really like keeping the makeup off your skin for as long as possible and also um, it, there's going to be a lot of product on your face it's going to absorb any kind of face makeup it's going to be harder to like brush it away and fix it and everything so I do recommend doing your face last which is why I left it last to this tutorial but you also want to make sure you have your face moisturized so that it gives you like a nice clean palette to work with, a nice moisturized palette. So I'm using the Live Clean Fresh Face Moisturizer. It is my absolute favorite moisturizer of all time. And I'm just going to apply it to the areas of my face that usually get flaky. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have quite a red nose. Like, well, I have redness on my bump because I have a bump on my nose and then I have redness around here. Okay, I have tried to like figure out ways to fix that and I hadn't quite gotten the hang of it but now I do for sure so I'm going to share this little trick with you. You guys might not have the same skin as me or anything like that but um, when I have foundation on this part of my nose, no matter how much like moisturizer I put on or something, it always ends up looking gross. Like well, yeah, kind of gross, <laughs> um, but it's like dry. It ends up being dry here no matter how much moisturizer I put on beforehand. So what I have found out that I can do that is like a trick. Well, actually, first of all, I'm going to do my foundation. Okay, so okay, first I'm going to do my foundation and then I'll show you the trick. So I'm using the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Makeup, whatever that is, and I'm going to apply it to my face even though I really do not like wearing foundation. This is what I'm going to do for you guys. Okay, so now I've got foundation on my face and oh my gosh, I look super duper white. Um, I promise it matches my neck, but I'm also going to bring it down my neck. I think I have the same problem as Graveyard Girl in the fact that I cannot find, well I can find foundation that matches my skin, but I can't find anything that matches my skin on camera. But that's okay though because I'm going to add stuff over top anyway. So. Anywho, okay, so I've done the foundation, like the, the mask of foundation, and then my trick is, for the nose thing, is I'm going to take rosebud salve, and if this freaks you out, don't. 
don't let it freak you out because it actually works fantastically. Um, especially on a night like this, you want to you want to have a trick like this to make these sides of your nose not go red and not go crackly or anything. So I'm going to take Rosebud Salve. I got this from Sephora. I'm going to take a little bit onto my finger and I'm going to apply it into those little parts of my nose right around. This is a lovely um, picture. It kind of looks like I'm picking my nose right now. So I'm going to really rub it in. It just creates a good base. For it to look good okay so once I've applied the rosebud salve I'm going to take my lovely concealer and this is my favorite concealer right now by far too I should really do favorites video again but um, this is the Revlon photo ready concealer and I don't know what it is about the photo ready or the 3d finish or any of those kind of things but they're supposed to be like preparing you for picture taking like this supposed to be really good for when people take your picture I don't know has some sort of like effect or something I don't know if I believe that but it's a really good concealer so I'm going to apply it simply around this part of my nose and I'm going to basically tap it in so see how it took out the redness that's what it does but it looks kind of unnatural so I'm gonna fix that in a second okay so see how that is all done and I'm also going to apply it to the bump on my nose but yeah, after that, to make the sides look a little bit more real, I mean, you can have it be like perfect like this, but it just adds a better effect if I add something over top. Where are you? Found it. And I'm going to add my handy dandy BB cream over top. And you guys might think this is like super weird, but if you've seen my BB cream review video, you know that like this has a kind of not shiny effect, but more just like kind of dewy like oily if you use too much, but like dewy effect. So I'm going to take the tiniest dab on my fingers, like a literally like tiny dab, and I'm going to apply that over top of the concealer on the sides of my nose. And this creates a sort of real, like it, I don't know, it, it adds a sheen to, your, to the sides of your nose that you would automatically have. So it makes it look more natural and just less more like you have concealer stuck in there. And I don't know if it makes any difference on camera, but it makes a big difference in real life. So yeah, that's what I do to counteract the natural effects of having a nose. <laughs> so now that I look like a porcelain doll, I'm gonna add some color to my face. To do that, I'm going to take my handy dandy bronzer, and this is the best bronzer I've ever come across like drugstore wise and it is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the color Sundance. Now I've tried other bronzers by Rimmel like this exact bronzer but in a different shade and it doesn't give such a good um, like bronzed effect like other ones are too shimmery or too muddy or too orangish or something like this is the perfect bronzer. I'm just going to get that lopped up on my brush and I'm going to basically apply it all over my face and down my neck. I'm going to apply it lightly first so that I don't like overpower my face with Oompa Loompa. I'm going to bring this around, like shade this part of my face, bring it around to my temple, bring it out kind of on my cheekbone and then bring it down. We're not necessarily contouring with this, we're just kind of highlighting um, parts of your face that would normally get tanned. I'm also going to bring this down my neck. I've also brought it down the top of my nose like my t-zone area. Okay so see how I'm kind of bronze now? Yeah? Good? Are we good with me not being a mannequin anymore? I have a lot of fake skin on right now. And then as a blush I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Rose Silk and I'm going to apply it not necessarily to the apples of my cheeks but it's going to be, well it's going to be the apples but I'm going to kind of swoop it underneath the apple and around and it kind of highlights your cheekbone it kind of it highlights this part of your face more than if you just apply it to the apples so I'm going to apply it and bring it kind of underneath see what that does makes you kind of look like you have more there just kind of another way to contour and finally if you don't already have enough on your face we're going to add the lips now I'm not a huge fan of lipstick so instead I'm going to use Burt's Bees first to just like get rid of any kind of chapness going on. You definitely don't want chap lips in pictures. And then you can use a lipstick if you want. You can do a red lip or a like more brownie color if you can see that. Um, I'm not 
the hugest fan of lipstick. You can do it for prom if you want, but if you want more of a um, of a wash of color, just like less serious and easier to apply without a mirror and stuff, um, I recommend something like the Revlon Lip Butters, and this is in the color Cotton Candy, and it's a really nice pink color. You can really match any color to this eye look, which is the best part about it. You can still pull off anything with, like, depending on what dress you have. Um, but I'm just gonna do this pink lip. And because it's so sheer, I think it would work on anybody's lips. And then you can add a lip gloss or a lip plumper if you want. You can just play around with this if you want, um, just like as you see fit. But um, this is my final, you know, like face. I hope you guys really like it. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if any of you guys actually try this. That would be awesome. But yeah, I hope you guys really like this prom look. Please comment, rate, and subscribe because I love reading your comments and I love your faces. And I love you guys a lot. And I already said that. But have a great prom or just like wear this out to your day, which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Bye.